Hello everyone. Um, I'm coming here before the reaction starts just to let you know about what happened with this reaction. So the thing is, my computer was being really fucking tiz me when we were recording it. And so I had an issue where I couldn't properly record the entire thing. Um, what happened was that the file corrupted. Um, so a lot of the reaction, especially the second half of, of it, has loads of parts where just well this happens yeah. and so you can imagine how that's not ideal to get our reactions from it so this reaction is not going to be like full it's going to be missing loads of parts simply because my computer decided to fuck up um sorry about that there's not much i could do but yeah i tried to salvage as much as i could of it and hopefully it's still an entertaining reaction where you can gather our thoughts from um, what we think of this episode. Because, yeah, it is a really bad episode. Arguably the worst episode in Doctor Who history. So, yeah, that was fun to watch. Hopefully you enjoy it. And, yeah, let's get into the reaction. Are you ready for the this. best episode of Doctor Who ever, guys? This is going to be so much fun. All right. I know, if that's what I've just been hearing. I heard that Connor loved this episode. I heard he absolutely loved it. Uh, yeah, if you if you want to call love um wants to smash my head against the wall. Just go love is strength. Go along with it. <laughs> love, love is love strength. Is... <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> oh god, I forgot about that. Fuck, I forgot about that. I actually well, forgot. Shit. What's, oh, what's your mission? Love. Love's not a mission. Love is the only mission. Idiot. I'm like, okay. It's a promise. It's not an emotion. Love is a promise. And that is the most Bell has ever gotten in this show. Utterly amazing. Yes. Survivors of the Flux. I um, really... Yeah, so before we do, what's your predictions yeah. out of 10? Well, given the feedback everyone's been giving on this episode, I'm expecting this to be like a 1 or 0. Probably okay. a 1. But we'll, we'll see. I'm excited. Uh, no. It's going to be no, a no. one. Okay. It's going to be a one. <laughs> Tin, you get back in here. Don't you? You can't run away from this. Hypnol is inevitable. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, just, you, you all went quiet after you said that I was a flux, and I thought it killed you. I mean, that might that might be that might actually happen when we watch this. Not, yeah. This might be the end for all of us because it'll be so bad our brains can't comprehend how utterly shit the writing is. We might actually <laughs> die. This must take time. Yeah, because the last episode has like it's it's easily the best of the season and has a lot of good shit in it. Like I I really liked it, and this is probably this is gonna ruin it. Yeah. Units back, guys. I mean, we know that it's been talking about all over, so it's not really a spoiler. Yes. No. No. <laughs> She's a big part of the episode, clearly. She, she has at least 10 minutes, I guarantee you. Oh, that's a good one. I yep. do. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very fortunate to have it. <laughs> I want to stop watching this. 
Don't worry, Jeb. I mean, did you watch this episode a second time? I've only watched it twice. Fear oh, yeah, remember her? <laughs> yeah, it's because... I totally forgot she existed. Uh, Diane? Yeah. Yeah, she, 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 she didn't show up in episode 2 or 4, so, <laughs> yeah. Very important. Very important. Da Diane kind of forgets she exists as well. So. Exactly. Yeah, we, forgot, he forgot in episode 2. Yeah, we mentioned that in episode 3, <laughs> that in episode 2, she, they just forgot that she existed in episode 3. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah um, she, she's a thing that Dan cares about. It's the most apparent here, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, wow, that's great. Mm, John Bishop uh, is a bad actor. Yes, he is. Yeah. Lovable he's guy, not, but not, not a great actor. actor. Yeah. I'm not Bradley Walsh! <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that clip. <laughs> Survivors of the Flux. I like the shot. I like the music, at least. Oh, they're just gonna undo it? Oh. Never mind! <laughs> He's joking, <laughs> right? They're not just gonna undo it. <laughs> so, people, so people defend it with, well, she's being recalled to Division, what did you expect? And I'm like, well, she could still be an angel. It could still have consequence. The last episode literally had an angel working for the division. Why can't she be an angel? Yeah, especially as a trap. Imagine she can't literally do anything. Imagine the doctor's mind and with the powers of a weeping angel. Ah, fuck this, dude. It was such a cool cliffhanger. Fuck off. I'm so upset already. I don't know why, why she's doing the blinking thing when they're behind her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck was that? What was that cut? <laughs> oh my god, stop oh. the exposition, dear fucking god. I don't know why she's surprised oh, that they encased her. Her voice, that's interesting. Those angels have always been like that, they've always been kind of smug. Yeah. yeah. They don't fuck with anyone who they... Play the clip from Series 5 where they the, said the, for fun. When they played the game, they were smug. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna set something out. You will never find out how they got away from the village or what happens to Jerry. So that but outcome it, at the end of the last episode. Wait, but it wasn't about. the village like matter. time locked or some shit. Shut up! <laughs> it didn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! So they're Forget literally undoing you. everything in the last episode. Jesus Christ, Dan! Have some fucking reaction to the fact you nearly got fucking killed. Fuck to me. be fair, I think this is. Oh, okay. I think this is just a normal. What curse is going right on? This should have. What quite... is this tone? What is this? This should have quite bad injuries on someone. Especially Jericho, who's like elderly. Oh my god, a candle! A candle. Oh yeah, I never mentioned that. Hey, I was gonna say, why is it lit in a fucking <laughs> closed off tomb? I'm still not sure about taking it. Strictly speaking, it's theft. What? If we take it, we have to bring it back once we have it decoded. Yes, what? you need it. it. What? The fact that Yaz is contemplating when it could save the universe oh is quite God. frustrating. What is going yeah. on? I am so confused. That is I, I an interesting use you. of green screen. What is That's... going on? What am I watching? <laughs> the basic so already. <laughs> So that subplot, what they're doing, it ultimately will not matter. So. Oh, great. I love spending time on things that don't yeah. matter. Oh, it's a nude! Oh my god! Hey! Oh. I love a nude! Okay. It's the same voice, that's nice. I think, so. I think it is. Look, it looks like a TARDIS. It does. A TARDIS with some dildos. Yeah. With a tree! An organic TARDIS. Uh -huh. Hello. Aren't all TARDISes organic because they're beings? Yeah, yeah, they're all yeah, beings. Yeah, Hello. Organic one. Oh, it's. Oh, I don't know if Colin has been spoiled about this yet. But... It's, it's mystery person. <laughs> I think I've been spoiled about who who this person is. Oh, so no, we yeah, all know. I, yeah, I, I, I know who it is too. Yeah, so we all know. It's, it's Tech Tae Yoon. <laughs> so yeah. yay! So happy. It's right mystery now. Oh God! Ah, oh, Constantinople. guys. And I'm sorry. How could they travel as well? In I know, the right? early 1900s, yeah, uh, and you know, early 1900s, Yaz is not like white. Um, wait, what? She's not? No, <laughs> don't think she is. Oh my god. So, yeah, Yaz would have been, you know, kind of stopped. She would have to be disguised as a slave, and she's not dressed as one. Yeah, and like, I'm sorry, they don't have passports even. How would. Oh my god, show I You can't just do this. <laughs> Fuck's sake. John Bishop is so shit. Legit, who, who the fuck is Dan? Legit. 
<laughs> Remember we were praising episode one for having Dan? No. Yeah, and it's like, like it's episode one actually set up quite a yes. few things that like are really cool. What? Carpet or what? Why are you doing that? What? You did, she, di like, she's di she, she died. She's yeah, dead. Died. She's dead. She's dead. Wait, I'm sorry. She did so, so the attempt. wouldn't the ideal thing try to put out the fire on the fucking exactly? Yes. She didn't even use the cloths or anything to like. Put out she did. She tried to make the explosion contained. What the fuck? Oh, also, <laughs> I like how they're having this exposition dump that they already would have had. No, oh, yeah, oh, editing is bad. Oh, no, God. why aren't they doing yes, that with Yas? Yas is literally yeah. not white. <laughs> She'll be virtually abused and assumed as a slave. This is 1904, especially the, dude. Especially this early, yeah, exactly. I love how low she going took on? to react. Yeah. D Dan, come on, do something. Come on, Dan. You can't fight the future! You can't fight the future! Oh, he. You, you, uh, think you could have stopped that! Yeah, she could have pinned his hands down. But I'm sorry, is that so dumb? Uh, isn't the point of, like, too. cyanide pills that you have them inside your mouth? To, instead yeah, of yeah, you, well, don't you normally like foam up or something like that? I'm not an expert. Yeah, that's true. But... but yeah, it's usually like you bite down hard and then the the pill. Yeah. Releases he just put it in his mouth and it was like. Oh. Yeah, but she I'm said gonna... he was lodged in his tooth, but it wasn't. He put his hand in his what? mouth. <laughs> it wasn't. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna point something out. They'll never send an assassin again. But... Oh, he has his legit thing. like frozen body overboard. So. Okay. They'll never said an assassin. Oh my god, what is going on? I'm so oh, confused. Oh, so we just go 54 years into the future, All right? Also, Dan has just partaken in the death of a man and he shows no response. He doesn't care. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's... Oh, it's, hey, it's, 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 it's Yeah, it's the guy oh, that Finder, yeah. He's a good actor, at least. Yeah. I've been tasked with setting up the British end of a new task force funded by the United Nations. No. Uh, yeah. No. Yep, Marcus. No. Yep, Marcus. No. Yep, Marcus. No. <laughs> that doesn't make sense timeline wise, though. No. no. Oh, yeah. To be fair to Chibnall, the whole unit dating has never made sense. He hasn't helped. Oh, no, it hasn't. It's been very inconsistent, however, though. Yeah, it's always however, been inconsistent. Though. This isn't like a Chibnall only issue. Yeah. Yeah. Classic yeah. who does this also pretty badly. I... Yes, Marcus, this has happened. You're correct. So this guy, he, he, he's got to deal with Vinder, and the doctor just happened to run into Vinder during the flux shit. And he just happened to, like, infiltrate unit as it was created in 1958. I, well, based on the episode, I assumed he went back in time to do it or something. Yeah, but my point is, that guy create, uh, is part of that. And it's super contrived that Vinder happened to meet the Doctor. Like, I assume it's going to be important by come the end of the season. I think this is the only scene where, like, it's not absolutely abhorrent. No, because I can understand, like, for Yaz's character, I think this is, like, this is something. Yeah. The dialogue's still fucking shit. <laughs> Yeah, no, the the exposition is shit, but the what this scene means to Yaz is alright. Yeah, like that, that, even just that little subtle thing there. No, it's just also it's quite smart of Thirteen uh, to give a, a reminder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember the flux guys? Remember how that's a fucking thing? <laughs> We still have no idea how any of it works, yeah. I remember the first episode we watched, and I was like, I thought this season was going to be them, like, running away from the Flux, mm -hmm. and it, how this season has just not been that. Yeah, the Flux oh, caught them, and then the no TARDIS sent them cares. to the past, and that was it. Also, they go the 5th of December as if it's just some big mystery, but won't say the year. But if you have more than two brain cells, you know oh, it's, uh, as you know, it's, like, this week. I think fifth, yeah, 5th of December is a Sunday. So you know it's 5th December 2021. So there's no mystery. Mm, I wish Mendip Gill was better, but that was alright. I do too. That was not her worst sexy, worst second, so. Dan. Dan, you had to get rid of a dead body. Please react. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand, Dan. Come on, have a scene. Come on, please, please, have a scene. Have a scene where you actually de develop characters. Yeah, please. sit I down you, and have please. character, yes. Please, Jibril, please. <laughs> you can do it. 
I feel so sorry for you guys. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's all you're getting, you fuckers. <laughs> you're joking, right? Of course not. You. You're you actually fucking with me. A good, a good scene would have Dan Superfly's image in the sun. In that scene, Dan should be like, I've been through a lot here, included die. And not even talked about it. <laughs> I know. This is this is like really apparent that Chibnall's trying to duck. I would love to know about the division. But as I want to die. I'm gonna probably be as calm as possible when saying this. Yeah. When I first watched it, I was kind of in um, disbelief. I was like, I can't believe that's what I watched. I just know it was a piece of garbage being shoved through my eyes and my ears. And then I started thinking about it and discussing it. And I was like, this is actually a poem. And I said immediately, this is completely ruining some of the most cherished and beloved most of the show and even the spin-offs in ways that you couldn't imagine. And it's kind of disrespectful to some characters that are now either killed off or like or doing their own thing, but we don't see them like Sam J. And to ruin also Martha as well, who's such a landmark in the show's history as the first um, black companion, obviously making a society companion, but not full time. And for her arc to be ruined as well, it's all like he seems to not give a shit. Yeah, or think this through. And now he's rendered the time more pointless thinking about it and all of this. It's like this guy just gives no shits for the consequences of his writing, doesn't care about cause and effect, he's all for his ideas, regardless of the cost. And I'm tired of seeing this on Twitter where people are like, oh, but what about, I mean, big obstacles in writing, which Doctor Who's always been inherently about, maybe not to this extent. But I think RTD can pull it off, and even if there's some issues with the plot, we know for a fact RTD's character writing is masterful and what might work for him is not addressing try to be more stripped down more like a veggie's retirement space without this huge big threat or universe destroying the stakes are within the yeah, story and I, more character driven i've thought for a while that i think if he does go back to like more of a just a, a standalone adventure each week and you develop the characters it'll be a much better so, um, this is worse than CW stuff. Not as bad as Loki. I, yeah, not as bad as Loki. It's getting there, but <laughs> it's, it's it, it, okay. We'll go second. But it's like Jesus Christ. Yeah, and it, it couldn't be worse. We don't know yet because you know episode six still could be even worse than five somehow. So yeah. I actually imagine that. I actually imagine that. It's like... How? It's bad enough that you could destroy world building and that. I mean, a lot of writers that aren't that good do it. But I don't think of any writers that can destroy the entire conflict to the point of their entire season. Like, the flux wasn't needed at all. Yeah, building up the mystery of it was really fun as well. Uh, right, so I, th I think that's everything we have for today. Um, I'm yeah. gonna have to watch this back while I'm editing it. Uh, I know I always say Dude. this, but like Jesus Christ, I want to die. Um, I, I still I still have <laughs> Village of Angels to edit before this one though, so that one's gonna be funner because I like that episode at least. <sighs> also, just one side that we mentioned it earlier, but I'm still in the middle of watching the third Doctor's era. Now I'm going to have to watch the rest of it knowing that the fucking... It's pointless. There's no, they, everything is pointless. <laughs> you have to now watch that yeah. in punishment of, hey, this is always fucking pointless. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch it knowing that all these characters are just fucking brain dead, letting the Grand Serpent just take over. 
you have to watch the entire show knowing that the division is out there. They could have done anything at any point. No, stuff like Stolen Earth and the fucking 30th anniversary. All of it's just ruined. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just... Oh, oh, it's so painful. <laughs> <laughs> fucking chibnall. Um, uh, the thing is, it's like, and it's bad enough, like, fucking over your own show. But the spin-offs, like Sarah Jane Adventures, there's literally a dedicated June episode. There's many, the Brigadier appears in that. It's, it's the last time you ever actually see him before he passes away, and like, now that's, now that's, now that's, now that's ruined, for God's sake. It's like, Chibnall, Elizabeth Slater's dead, please. <laughs> Let it rest. Uh, I, I I like how treat is if it's like completely intentional. It's his master plan, but you know, fucking, fucking even Nicholas Courtney's dead, and, and like you just keep on pissing on the brigadiers like I see. That's a fucking cyber brigadier now. This I was like, it's they like, can't do. I was like, they can't do worse than cyber brig, can they? And then they're like, you know what? We'll make unit in the purpose of destroying the fucking planet, and the brigadier doesn't. Not notice this ever. The doctor doesn't. Sarah Jane doesn't. Kate is the only one that could, and even then, she completely breaks her character when re- when like dealing with it. They even, was... had... you... they even gave like, the brigadier like a sort of cameo with his voice in this, and it's like, why? What? How dare you put him anywhere near this? It's like, how? How do you have Kate, the head of unit, do the least secretive fucking thing you could think of? Oh, I'm just... Chipnall is absolutely abhorrent. As a writer, if he ever comes back to Doctor Who, I will lose her. I don't... I don't think... I hope to God that BBC also, also realised... This isn't working, and whilst he may have had had a plan, they weren't going to continue anyway. Yeah, I Just... I hope the BBC understands how bad this is. Crossed. I like I to think. To... I like to there think they do because you don't hire RTD back unless you need to be taken. Bring RTD back is a is a big signal that they definitely don't think this show is working at the moment. Yeah, and... so you would just you would just go for another showrunner. You wouldn't you would go for someone new with fresh ideas in, in terms of like how it's like how it looks. But like they went back to someone who who made the show work, who brought it back from the dead practically. And yeah, so... it's dead again, and RTD is coming back. Like they know it's not working. Yeah, I think um, what they do know as well when. Uh... Um, world where uh, big universes of content and now the new thing because of the MCU I think they know they need to now cash in, try and cash in on that with Doctor Who mm-hmm. and the only person who has had success in doing it is RTD because Sarah Jane talked to her and that with Moffat it kind of started dying out so if it, at least at least production-wise as well, we know we're going to get good. So that was everything I could salvage. Um, as you can tell, not a lot. And also the outro was recorded from the recording, so I'm going to do it here. Um, I'm sorry that the recording fucked up, but we did definitely talk about this episode in the ecom that is linked in the card in the upper right corner of the screen right now, if you guys want to hear about it. Um, Jeb ranted about it before. Um we watched the episode with him so if you want to know more specifics we you know talk about that there and um yeah thanks for watching uh we'll catch y'all next time goodbye